Greetings, film fans. Lieutenant Fish is back with the third and final impromptu unscripted review for this year's Virginia Film Festival. And this review is the Hungarian animation Ruben Brandt Collector, directed by Milorad Kerstik. And this is maybe the most unique feature-length animated film I've ever watched, uh, stylistically. And it is something you would never see this in a U.S. or anime style film, I don't believe. But European, uh, it's definitely it's definitely something that I could see coming out of uh, Eastern Europe and some of the other feature length films I've seen from them. It it does have moments that definitely remind me of, say, Fantastic Planet or Gandahar, but. It really is unique, and this is definitely one that I would recommend for anyone who is a fan of European animation, European comics, or art in general, specifically. This is something I would say the focus primarily is, uh, the style primarily is modernist art based on the character designs and you can see that in the trailer which is linked below it is definitely different with the very unique character stylings and very original in the, its portrayals particularly because not only are you seeing individual characters portrayed in a unique format but it's not it's everyone reacts to to them and they react to the world relative to their appearance much in the same way as Bojack Horseman the animal people you see there are interacted with relative to their appearance and but otherwise normal as human beings with the audience or and with the other characters surrounding them so this is a feature-length film about art and how art impacts us and it brings in uh, some very interesting considerations and thoughts and it has a spy story and some and a couple of amazing amazingly fluid amazingly well animated action scenes one at the end and one at the very beginning and it frames the film work the film very well and you know, it, like some European films and some European comics, uh, the narrative suffers a little here and there, but it's worth seeing just to experience it. I should also note that uh, this is primarily in English with some other languages which are subtitled. I was expecting this to be fully in Hungarian or another language and English subtitles throughout, but it appears that all of the uh, actors actually spoke English uh, with a few exceptions. And so this is really similar, and, and in one sense this is also somewhat similar to Paprika in the sense that uh, you see certain paintings come to life. However, somewhat disappointingly in my opinion paintings like Botticelli's Venus are portrayed relative to the rest of the character design styles rather than being portrayed uniquely in their original uh, Renaissance look or something else they're, they're every all the paintings even if they're older paintings like Botticelli or uh, Van Gogh are portrayed in a modernist style, and I found that a little bit disappointing just for consistency, but on the whole, uh, this is a very, very interesting, very unique animated film, and I highly recommend it if you have a chance to watch this. I enjoyed it very much. I found it very engaging on the whole and enjoyed it immensely, to say the least. So that will wrap up this year's impromptu unscripted film reviews for the Virginia Film Festival here in Charlottesville. And I hope to have my next full feature review out in the next week or so. Stay tuned, movie fans. Lieutenant Fish, out.